When you saw the photograph of the top secret documents laid out on the floor at Mar-a-Lago, what did you think to yourself looking at that image? How that could possibly happen. How one, anyone could be that irresponsible. And I thought, what data was in there that may compromise sources and methods? By that I mean names of people who helped, or et cetera. And it's just uh, totally irresponsible. He's so old and tired. <laughs> Joining me now, Donald Trump Jr., host of the news show Triggered with Don Jr. only on Rumble. Oh, I'm going to ask him about that here in a minute. That's freaking cool. What a score for Rumble. But first, all right, Don. Well, boy, I can't imagine anything more irresponsible than having classified documents you're not supposed to have as president. It's not like every president in the world does this, but Joe Biden thinks that's very irresponsible. Well, uh, apparently it's very irresponsible, and uh, Joe Biden himself now did it. Uh, oh. Should shock no one. I mean, it seems like it's a page right out of the communist playbook, right, Jesse? It's like accuse others of doing all the things that you're doing. I mean, how many more times do we have to see this? But what I'm really wondering, Jesse, is, is I haven't seen it yet. And you would think there would be reports of the FBI's hostage rescue team, uh, the team that helped to raid Mar-a-Lago. Uh, you'd think they'd be involved with this because apparently they've now been elevated to this level uh, of prosecution in looking into these things. But I haven't seen the reports yet. It must be it must be underway and kept quiet because I'm wondering when that's going to happen. Yes, I'm sure. And make sure you notify CNN before you bring the HRT in to kick indoors to make sure your political opponents look as bad as humanly possible. OK, th this actually leads me into something that is very serious and very sad. The justice system in this country, it doesn't matter what people think about it one way or the other, I can't stand it, but half the country doesn't trust it, at least, and it, it might be more than that. I don't know that anyone trusts it at this point, I just think that 50% are fine with it because they understand that there's a different level of justice for them. Uh, you know, the notion of the Democrats, right? You see what's going on with Trump and or Biden. You look at Hunter Biden versus me, look at what they did to me uh, with literally nothing out there and yet I've done countless hours before congressional you know, committees, uh, Senate committees for treason, Jesse. A minor detail, given that it's a crime punishable by death, uh, but Hunter <laughs> Biden can take millions from Russian oligarchs. He can launder money uh, linked to human trafficking rings. He can get no-show job payments for Ukraine while his father's in positions of power there. Uh, and we are told by even the highest levels of authority in our intelligence community that it's uh, Russian I disinformation for two years um, until it isn't, and then it's forgotten uh, as though it's no longer relevant. So there is a two-tiered uh, justice system in this country. Uh, if anyone doesn't believe that at this point, and even some people I know who are, uh, let's call it you know, left-leaning but not insane, uh, are just now starting to understand exactly how bad that is. By the way, I do wanted to ask you about that. You have been investigated endlessly, and you keep coming up so clean. It's a little bit concerning. Have, have, you were never tempted to commit even tiny crimes? What's wrong with you? I'm a little disappointed. Well, I, you know, I'm looking now at the Hunter stuff. If I had known this stuff then, that would have been like a hall pass to do whatever the hell I wanted <laughs> to for like a four-year period, because apparently if you're the son of the president of the United States, you can do all of these things. Uh, you know, luckily, uh, you know, crack was never my thing. Um, you know, I guess don't knock it, don't knock it till you've tried it. But I get, you know, I've avoided that. But that's, you know, again, that's not the narrative that you see. People will watch this interview, and the leftists will say that I was uh, clearly high on something, uh, ignoring the fact that you know the, the actual president of the United States son is on video doing these things. So what I want to know is, like, what are the things that Hunter Biden chose Jesse not to put on video, like when he was sitting there being like, you know what, like maybe this is too far. I won't film it anymore. Uh, it'd be interesting to know. You have a new show on Rumble, and I'll tell you, I, I forget when I saw it. It was a week ago, maybe. I, I don't remember exact time frame. And I looking at my phone, checking out the news of the day, and I saw that, and I thought, dang, Rumble, that is a huge score. Where'd this whole deal come from? How'd this come about? Well, it's interesting. Chris Pawlowski is the CEO of Rumble uh, way before they went even public. You know, I, I've been sort of on the leading edge of this sort of free speech movement. I've been the guy, I've, I've been talking about censorship for six years before it was cool to talk about online censorship, just because I had such a big platform and I saw what they were doing every day. Uh, you know, I was one of the people they called a conspiracy theory when they say, well, how do you, 
I'd ask the question, how do you go from like 10,000 retweets to four uh, in a day? And, you know, like I'm clearly on a list and, you know, I was called all sorts of names. And so I've been a big proponent early on of uh, all of these free speech platforms and, uh, you know, competitors to what I've seen, uh, you know, as big tech, whether it's Google, big tech, uh, you know, social media platforms that have really gone so far out of their way. Let's make let's make no mistake. What was going on at Twitter and we now know that happened at Twitter. Uh, you're telling me that wasn't also and still isn't going on at Facebook and the other places and Google and by the way, and probably in every mainstream newsroom in America. Uh, that bias has existed there. I've been calling it out for so long. So I think I was like the second verified like sort of personality just uploading some of my short form uh, content onto Rumble. Uh, you know, I, I was an early guy trying to help them out and get a foothold. Uh, and you know, now that again, some of this stuff is out there, uh, maybe Twitter's gone around the corner a little bit for now, but uh, not not in terms of video platform. YouTube is still a disaster. I'm sure you've probably experienced that. And, uh, you know, certainly yeah. many of our friends in the conservative movement who are willing to say the stuff that is true and that was willing to talk about the, the conspiracy theories that all end up being 100% right about 100% of the time uh, within about a six month period. You know, I was that guy and I just said, you know what, as long as mainstream media is gonna continue to do that, we need voices to be out there. And I'm gonna help the outlets, uh, whether they're sort of, you know, the red state economy businesses or even just free speech platforms. You know, there's gonna be plenty of left leaning people on Rumble too, because that's what we're supposed to have in a democracy and in a republic. We're supposed to have that debate, uh, not have a one side, you know, it, one-sided conversation and so i'm just excited to get on there uh, i believe that we need that to help our country and hopefully people like what i have to say uh it's funny that you brought up getting suspended from youtube because i get our entire network suspended basically routinely i know you're going to find that shocking and it's something that Hard we've all been shocked by yes yes i know we've all been shocked by how powerful they are and how much of a daunting task it is to create an alternate economy. Because we very clearly yeah. do have to create some sort of a parallel economy and some of those efforts have been crushed. But are we getting smarter and better? Are we building one now or are we still so far behind that we're just a million miles away from freedom? Well, listen, I think we're far behind, but people are now onto it, right? For so long, conservatives, no. uh, you know, I mean, you, you do a great job of this on, on social and Twitter and uh, everywhere where you're talking about like, hey, we got to be engaged in this battle. I think I try to fight that same fight, which is like, we can no longer do the, well, I'm going to turn the other cheek and I hope they're going <laughs> to do the right thing. And I think, no, but for a long time, it was, you know, I was going to do a book like two years ago, I was going to do, right after my last one, I was going to do a book on cancel culture, but I was like, man, there's no happy ending here because we're getting our uh, and yet now you look at what's going on. Look at Netflix stock price, uh, you know, because, you know, there wasn't the, you know, trans Asian at the signing of the Declaration of Independence <laughs> in the Netflix recreation. Like, you know, people have said enough. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Like, just like creating a story that doesn't exist to satisfy woke components uh, of society. Uh, Disney stock is half price because they're jamming their stuff. No one cares about you know, if someone's LGBT now. It doesn't even. I don't think. It, I don't even know anyone that that bothers. What we don't want is the narrative just jammed down our throat constantly, where you got to force feed it to young children, and they, you know, they can't get a pack of cigarettes for another fifteen years. But we're going to allow them to chop off their genitals to conform to Whoa. their woke teachers' desires. Like, you know, people have had enough. Uh, so I think you know with a rumble, there's a there's a someone's taking on. I think you know with True Social, I think honestly Elon Musk so far at Twitter. Let's see, you know how how that plays off. But you know I like it. I see a different level in, of engagement there. Uh, people are looking for that, uh, and I think then on the business side, the same thing's happening. People are taking the time rather than just going to Google and finding what the Bolsheviks would want you to find when you're searching for something. They're saying woke corporate and the policies and the things that they're funding, they're waking up to that. There's guys like, uh, you know, Michael Seifert at Public Square who's putting out, you know, an app where people can find businesses that have conservative values and they believe in the stuff that you believe. And guess what? You're going to search on Google or you search on their app. It takes the same amount of time, but like you can put your money and vote with your wallet and, you know, put someone who believes in the stuff that you do, put their kid through you know, hockey practice or whatever it may be. Like, I think people now are so fed up. They're so sick of it. The left has gone so far with the insanity 
that people are going to go out of their way and they're going to find these other things. So I'm a, a huge believer in that movement. I think it'll be a big part of what I talk about on the show and rumble as these things emerge. And there's going to be plenty of merge that don't work, right? But when you find someone who's doing something really cool that has sort of the brain power and the capital to get it going, like, I, you know, I think we're going to give these guys a run for their money. And we don't, it's a daunting test, man. Like we are up against a lot. These people, as you know, and I think you've probably said it the same way as I, they would put us in the gulags. But the fact that they would and the fact that they're not even pretending that they won't anymore, people are like, yeah, maybe I won't give my hard-earned dollars to Starbucks or maybe I'll just go find the coffee shop that believes what I believe in and 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 vote accordingly. And I, you know, I used to be as a business guy. I mean, we were in hotels and real estate. Like, I wanted to appease 360 million Americans and another 6 billion people around the world. Guess what? We'll do just fine, you know, catering to 160 million Americans that actually believe this stuff. And I promise you, there's independents that are watching and saying, you know what, it's gone too far. Other people are going to glom onto this. It's about helping that small business, not corporate America. It's about understanding where your money then goes in the economy. And honestly, I don't know that there's anything more important. Where can people get this show? The show is triggered. He's Don Jr. Obviously, you know who he is. How do people get it? How much does it cost? Where do we yeah. find this thing? Well, you know, there's a couple components to it. There's going to be sort of a live component, which what Rumble did really unique uh, is they worked with Dave Rubin and integrated the locals platform. So there's actually going to be a component that you can flip onto on the subscription thing where you can interact and go live back and forth with me, where it's not just listening cool. to me be a talking head for an hour, but where I'm seeing, you know, what you're putting up there. I'm answering your questions and interacting live, whether it's with me or whether it's with a guest. Uh, you know, what's really sort of cool about the platform is, and I've, I've known Chris for so long and been working with it, he's like, hey, man, like, do what you want. Let's see what works and we'll, we'll go from there. So I think we have some flexibility. And I look forward to sort of the feedback from the people. You know, that, that that's what I've been doing this for. I mean, for me, it's about making sure that that voice of mainstream America gets heard. And I understand that's perhaps ironic given where I'm coming from. Uh, but again, if I if I cared that much about comfort, uh, it would have been a lot easier to be a real estate developer from New York City and to shut the hell up, but I just started to engage. No, I would say you and your father have both given that normal guy a voice. Credit to both of you. Don, please come back soon. Appreciate you, brother. Support the first TV today and get instant access to exclusive specials like Who is Ron DeSantis, The History of FBI Scandals, and America's Worst Presidents. Visit thefirsttv.com support or download the First TV app to become a supporter and start watching today.